530, I'm Tyler Mannion. Homes and other properties in Effingham County were nearly destroyed by trees downed by Helene. Many people left wondering where to even begin today as they start to assess the damage to their property all while going for power, going without power for days. Bronte Zorotsky shows us how the county is navigating the aftermath. But it hit us pretty good this time. Edward Lauder Jr. tells me he's lived in this home in Guyton for 27 years. He's never seen a storm get this bad. I was sitting up in the, in the living room, and all of a sudden it sounded like a big cannon hit the house. <laughs> what sounded like a cannon ended up being trees falling on this back shed. First it took out my wife's uh, handy house and busted it all open, and then it fell on on the house and busted the skylight and everything out. And his car. It's flat top now, so it, it busted it up real bad. I lost my old car, but you know, that's material stuff. Now, after a recent knee surgery, he's left trying to figure out where to even start when it comes to repairing and recovering what he and his family have lost. And I jumped up and I told my wife, I said, oh God, it done, it done knocked a hole in the top of the house. And, you know, the tree's still there, so it's a lot got to be done, so. Effingham County is currently operating multiple water refill stations and cooling stations for anyone needing extra help. Louder says one of the biggest things keeping him going through all this is the support and compassion the Effingham County community has shown each other. That's what we got to do is try to stick together and help one another. Because most definitely we ain't going to be able to do it by ourselves. Reporting in Effingham County, Bronte Sorotsky, WTOC News.